G'day Storm fans, I've got Cameron Smith here getting ready to play against Penrith and um, we're going to hark back to a, a, a very close game we had against them in 2014. First and foremost, mate, happy birthday. Oh, thanks Hoff. Appreciate that, mate. 25, no. hey. 25. Good. Don't, look a day over, <laughs> don't, don't look a day over 47. Um, mate, 2014, round two against the Panthers uh, here at, at Amy Park. Um, it was a special game for a number of reasons. It was a bit of a milestone game. Do you remember the milestone? I know you've had about 100 of them, but what was the milestone for that game? There's been a few, Hoffy. Um, no, but it was a really special day, mate, for, um, well, for myself, obviously. But uh, I think it was a big day for the club. Uh, Billy celebrating 200 Storm games. And um, I went past Matty Guy as the, the, the club's game records holder. So um, it, was, it was actually a, a really big match for the organisation. And um, we snuck away with a really tight win, which was really nice. Yeah, we did. Coming back from a, a very tight win against Manly the week before. We were only one by one point. I'm going to go uh, quickly to the last five minutes. Um, scores are even. You gave fantastic service to Cooper Cronk, who absolutely shanked a field goal, but it just went over. Uh, they all count, mate. 100% they, they all count. Then um, Paramount, uh, sorry, Penrith get a chance, and then they kick a field goal. So we get to kick off again, and um, what did you do, mate? And can you, can you also explain to me why you haven't done it since? <laughs> well, um, I think I recall it was a, it was a pretty wet night, it was, and it was quite dewy, so the time was, was against us on the clock, and we're looking to win, as we always have done down here. We've, nev we've never looked to sort of play for a draw or look to go into Golden Point and win. We just we want to win it in regular time. Um, so opted for the the short, low sort of kickoff on the ground, which made it really hard to pick up. And the worm burner. Yeah. The worm burner. Um, and, you know, luckily it, it found the, the touchline and, and we got an opportunity to get it back. But um, it was funny because we come off the week before, we'd, we'd actually won in Golden Point. Coops wasn't there. Yeah. Um, he, he was still recovering from, I think, uh, some surgery on his hip. I think it was so, um, but thankfully we had him back in the side um, for for the game against Penrith. So, you know, it went into touch. We got the ball back, and um, and Coop slotted another one. So there was three field goals in regular time, which put us up by one. But um, yeah, the uh, the hearts the heart rate increased a fair bit off the next kickoff when um, when Penrith got a, a a penalty from a short restart, and um, it was up to Wall Peter Wallace to try and kick a, a penalty goal from a fairly long range penalty goal after the siren to win it. Four players underneath the goal posts trying to protect but this one has waved away and on a historic night in Melbourne the score are victorious by one. But um, thankfully, thankfully uh, he missed and, and we got the win. Yeah, that's 100%. Well, I ended up winning, uh, I think it was 18-17. Pretty unusual scoreline there. Mate, you've, you've kicked many high-pressure goals. Um, yep. Put yourself in wall shoes. 40, <laughs> 40 metres out, I think it would have been about 20 in from the from the sideline yeah. uh, on, on, a, on a wet night. Would you would you be confident going into, into, a, into a kick like that? I know Peter Wallace probably isn't as well a uh, renowned goal kicker as you were, but um, that that is a, a tough thing for a goal kicker to, to, to step up to. Yeah, it is, mate. Um, I, I think most goal kickers actually relish the opportunity to, to have those uh, kicks, um, you know, to, to try and win the game. You know, it's what you put a lot of hard work in um, each week to, to nail those, those opportunities. Um, but those kicks at the end of the game, you know, when you've done so much work, and you know, Peter Wallace is—he's that type of player where he puts a lot of effort in for for um, you know the teams that he played for, and when he was playing, he would have had some weary legs. And um, and you know, you add the pressure of of you know trying to win the game after the siren when you know that that kick wins it. It it um, you know it's not so much that you get another opportunity where sometimes you're kicking from a from a position of uh, it's a draw and then you're trying to lock it up. Um, he was actually down by one point and trying to win it for him. So um, that, that's a, that was a really tough situation. And as I said, you know, I've been involved in games where opposition team goal kickers have kicked it. Yeah. Um, Kirk, Kirk, Kirk Gidley at Newcastle, is that Kirk, one? Yeah. Kirk Gidley at Newcastle, two stand out to me. Kirk Gidley in Newcastle and um, Greg Bird for the oh, Titans. Yeah, that's right. he, uh, he broke our heart. He, he, it was almost this identical situation yeah. where um, I think there was there was a defensive infringement, and he got a he got a kick from about 40 out, and he nailed it on the on the on the full time siren and, and beat us. But um, tough situation for Wall. But um, yeah, thankfully 
uh, we got the win that night because it's always it's always nice to um, you know when when individuals and when the club celebrating those type of milestones that um, you have a you have a good memory of the match and um, yeah very memorable night hopefully hopefully it's not that close this weekend mate. Yeah, no, you're right. And I think I've told you on many occasions that um, you never blame the goal kicker. That, that no, never, that's right. it, it, it never comes down at the end. If a goal kicker has a chance to get it and he misses it, you shouldn't be put in that position to start with. Yeah, no, I've, you've always been on my side there, Hoff. <laughs> Even I've come in a couple of times from games when I haven't kicked well and I'm, I'm dirty on myself and, you know, thought of um, I haven't done my job for the team there, but you've always backed me up, mate. So um, you're one of the you're one of the good guys, mate. One Thanks. of the very few. Thanks. Probably because my goal kicking record is, is is one from three. So so that's it, Storm fans. Hopefully it's not going to take three field goals uh, to to get the win tomorrow night. But uh, we're looking forward to it. Make sure you tune in.